So then I went to um, Philip Wayne. They put me on this table, bed, you know, whatever you call it, and then they use this high tech machine, and then you go <laughs> behind here, behind here, everywhere. They said they're gonna break me, break us, uh, break the fat cells apart so that it will melt away. Did it melt away? <laughs> you know how much money I spent? Do you have any idea? Because of this goal, it's so big, I'm so determined. You know, the only way I think is that I, I need help, so please help me. I pay you, you help me. You know, tell me what to do, because I don't know what to do. And in the end, I thought, you know, if I try to convince myself, if I stop doing all this, I might get even better. Mm -hmm. So, now 10 kg is good. 10 kg extra is good. I just keep continuing doing this. I keep continuing paying money. And then, in the end, I, you know, I eat the wrong thing all the time, so I put on weight, and what is the final solution for me? Stop myself. Stop eating. When I eat, I put on weight. And the, I bounce around between 5, 20 pounds, and when I go up to 20 pounds, I kind of pull up my pants, because you do really increase your interest. And it was, it was, I just don't like myself. I don't like my body, honestly. I never wear shorts in my life. Never. So that is the that is my my experience. I want to, but I don't know. I thought I know, I don't know. So I stop myself and it works. Because you stop eating naturally, you, you lose weight. So I limit myself of eating only one portion of food a day, like this much, a whole day. And naturally you lose weight because you want to feed yourself and I feel hungry and deprived of food and I'm very unhappy. <laughs> but my goal is there, I want to sleep, so I have to do whatever it takes to do that, right? So I when I lose some weight, I eat again because I was hungry. I deserve to eat something that I miss so much, so then I put on the weight again. Anybody can relate to that. You're talking about me. <laughs> 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 if I know, if I know this earlier, how much money I saved, mm. how much money and time and agony and suffering I saved, um, I mean, I would avoid. So when I met them, we went out to eat, he first date, we ordered some a good shatter, an appetizer to share, have a coffee, we chat. He eat the tomato and leave the toast. So second meal we had in the seafood center, we all the crab and all the rice. I mean it's my background culture. So he eat everything else, he don't eat the rice. And then eventually I learned, why do you eat all you know so much things? And and uh, you don't eat rice and of course he eat a lot of meat, a lot of veg and a lot of everything else and it is not bad. He's a more one. <laughs> That's like skills that we were doing. We were doing the culture. Yeah, the culture of the meat. But because his body is Amor, my body is Asian. So it was different to me. Were you at Amor Kyo? We were very fat. Yeah. So, anyway, when after I met them, um, cut the long story short, I eat so much delicious food. You know, I say, since I, I mean, I've tried Mary Chow, Mary, Marie France, Philip Wayne, I can try this. This is heaven. This is walking in the park. <laughs> right? Because I can eat everything. I have no hunger. I just skip rice and hunger. And it works for me. It works for me. And I eat everything else. And from that day onwards, I enjoy food. My relationship with food became amazing. Amazing, which I was avoiding, hating, Oops. love and hate. But now it's love, love, love it. I love eating. Talk about food. <laughs> <laughs> Gets me excited, right?